What's up, Kim peeps? Let's take a look at a practice problem for calculating the pH changes in a buffer solution. It says calculate the pH of a solution containing 0.75 molar lactic acid, we're given the Ka, and 0.25 molar sodium lactate after the addition, after the addition of 0.10 molar HCl. First thing we want to do is write out the equation that represents this buffer system. Our lactic acid reacting with water to form hydronium ion and the lactate ion. Again, recognize if this were just a weak acid solution, there'd be hardly any of this lactate ion in solution because it's a weak acid. So that's where this information about adding sodium lactate comes in. In order to get any considerable amount of this conjugate base, we have to add it from another source. Many times it's a sodium salt that contains that conjugate base. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of important things here. We're told what the concentration of the weak acid is, we're told what the concentration of the conjugate base is, and we're told the concentration of the HCl that was added. The invader, the attacker. But don't worry, we've got our soldiers here ready to sacrifice themselves. So, for all buffer problems, think about this equation and recognize that because it is a strong acid that we are adding, it is our conjugate base soldier that's going to sacrifice itself to form more weak acid. So as you try to calculate the change in the pH, recognize that it's still this equation. So we're going to use the Ka of lactic acid. But notice here what's going to happen. Because we've added 0.1 molar strong acid, 0.1 molar of our conjugate base is going to have to sacrifice its life to save the pH. So we're going to subtract that concentration from our initial concentration of weak conjugate base. And think about the equation. When that weak conjugate base sacrifices itself, it's going to form more weak acid. And so we add 0.1 molar to the original concentration of our weak acid. And then it's just calculator time. So the hydronium ion concentration is equal to 7.9 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. And then to determine pH, we're just going to throw it into the pH equation, which is equal to the negative log of our hydronium ion concentration. So the pH of this buffer system after we have added after the HCl is 3.10. So finally, before we finish, simply again recognize that when you're doing pH changes in a buffer system, you need to think about which component of your buffer is going to sacrifice its life. Then just use this equation, whichever one is sacrificing its life you're going to subtract from, and when it sacrifices itself, it makes more of the other buffer component. So you'll add that to the other component. We are done.